3 Into the Future expansion pack is probably one of the most ambitious Sims packs in Sims history. However, what if we took the Sims 3 and then did this? Well, if you boot up The Sims 4, head to the gallery, click on hashtag, and type in FGGSCI, you get a whole bunch of Sims 4 sci-fi builds, and we're gonna be looking at these ridiculous things today. This is the only thing I can do until they give me a Sims 4 into the future expansion pack. The first build we're gonna be looking at is the Abandoned Hospital by String Bean Kitty. This is just your abandoned hospital. Children say that gnome aliens from the planet 6 and party in the basement but those are just rumors. Seriously, don't check the basement. But now that you said to not do it, I want to do it. I love how this build tried to insinuate that this is just your average abandoned hospital because everybody has one in their neighborhood. What do you even do with an abandoned hospital? Like the only other logical reason is to start it up again. There's literally no other building that should look like a hospital. But no, according to this, this can be repurposed perfectly into a basement nightclub for aliens. But I shouldn't check the basement. Why is my voice like this today? Yes, hello. Welcome to your averaged abandoned hospital. As you can see, this looks like pretty much every other abandoned hospital I've been to and you've been to because apparently this is a common occurrence for hospitals to just be abandoned. I mean, it is in a lovely neighborhood. I'm not gonna lie. First, we start off with fucking debug dog. I hate debug animals and debug cat. Oh my god. You put this in here just to upset me. I hate debug animals. They're alive. But they're not. They're dead inside. They're dead, but they look alive and I hate them anyway. I'm just gonna ignore that because that, that's just harassment. Also, a portal to 6am just right there. Is it even 6am? It's just space. There's a portal to space, but anyway, I'm gonna ignore this massive fire hazard. How's it going, mailbox? And I'm just gonna go inside an abandoned hospital and there's already beds out here. I'm pretty sure beds aren't supposed to be in the front. I don't want to know what that's about, but there is reception. That's very nice. You know, for for being an abandoned hospital, it's still in pretty good shape. Here we have the baby room. Okay, just double checking there are no babies left behind. There is a secret door there. I'm gonna go through that last. I already know what happens every time I go through a secret door. And girl, it's really not worth it. Here we have more exercise machines. I say more, this is the first one I've seen. Can you tell I've just woken up? We have an x-ray room. Oh, this is actually kind of clever because you go in here and then the, the doctor literally hides as far away as possible because apparently it's safe for you to go in there, but not for them. And then, oh, this door is barricaded. Hello, why is this door barricaded? This is actually kind of cool. Like, this actually feels like a hospital. I mean, now you're probably questioning what type of hospitals I end up going to if this is the hospital that reminds me of hospitals, but you get my vibe, okay? The rooms are crammed to shit like this. We're on over this side of the building, and oh my god, look at these little offices. I'm pretty sure this is where the doctors come in here and write with awful hand writing and we have a little surgery room okay they really wanted to cover up this place i really don't know what that's about all right then we go through this door bathrooms oh my god hospital bathrooms now this looks no different i can't see any discernible difference between this bathroom and not abandoned hospital bathrooms did everybody flush oh somebody didn't oh my god this is why you check gamers we're gonna go upstairs and then we'll come back downstairs to look at that creepy basement i mean they said not to check the basement and really I should listen but I'm not going to also there should be railings here I would fall through this and die <gasps> that's how they make their money you fall through and injure yourself at the hospital and then they put you in a hospital bed and then you come back out you're like oh I'm all ready I'm all happy and fixed and then boom you hurt yourself again anyway there's a little cafeteria canteen area you go over here more see look you would hurt yourself oh my god this is unsafe and then an empty room okay I guess they really were packing their things all right, I'm gonna skirt around this fucking hazard. Absolutely despicable. The architect should be sued. Maybe this is why this hospital closed down, actually. And we have a little testing spot. Okay, I guess this is where they check blood samples or whatever the fuck. Now, I am unfortunately gonna have to return to the baby room because there was a secret door that always leads to a basement and there's always fucked up things in the basement. And we still haven't had our sci-fi element to this build yet. So I'm gonna go through the secret door that leads down a ladder with with an arrow and a camera that's pointing towards that wall. I'm pretty sure you get really good security feeds. All right, down the ladder I go. I turn around slowly. Oh my God, what is this? What could this possibly be? I'm trying to peek through. Oh, this looks like a club. Oh my God, is this an alien?
Alien Club. Hello! How's this going? Am I old enough to get through? Okay, I'm gonna pretend I'm an alien. Here, let me speak your language. Thank you. And then I go in and we are in the club. Oh my god. This is like the weirdest sci-fi thing I've ever fucking seen. But this is so cute. Look at you. Oh my god. Man, the tunes are really popping in here. I can't imagine gnomes from space. I mean, I've played World of Warcraft. That shouldn't surprise me. But oh my god, buddy. This is not the place. Please put some pants on. This is the cutest little idea ever. Oh my god, he's serving food. Do they eat bugs? or are these aliens? Oh my god, I think these aliens are also partying too. That guy's dead. This is the cutest sci-fi integration I've ever fucking seen. I love it. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Our Kid Messed Up by Morgana Fay. After being told countless times not to play with his mother's science equipment, little Timmy ignored his parents and accidentally made contact with extraterrestrial life. Before he knew it, unnamed fungi and other foreign plants came rushing through the wormhole generator and enveloped their house. Eventually, so many creeping vines erupted through that they tore this home from its foundation. But before the family could do anything about it, however, a spaceship abducted them all. Timmy! Timmy, how could you fuck up so much so quickly? It wasn't even, oh, I accidentally met aliens. Or there are weird vines and things coming through the walls. Now we're getting abducted. What did he say to the aliens? It's not that he contacted them. It's he said something. Maybe this is why you don't have kids. Here we are. Welcome to our kid mess up and you could tell that Timmy fucked up pretty bad actually. You could see him. He's going bye bye. We have the wormhole generator out front. I don't know why the mother would keep it out there. Maybe that was her fucking fault. Maybe we're blaming Timmy but we really should be blaming the mother. The car is being taken away by vines. The entire house has been uprooted and they're all getting abducted. So this is a pretty good setup right now. That doesn't look healthy. Okay but like what type of logic skill does Timmy have to let this happen? Anyway we're gonna fly through into the house from here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there were definitely things crawling through this house. It's a very cute house. It's actually quite a shame that Timmy had to go fuck it all up. Like, I'd live here. Maybe not now that Timmy's fucked everything up, but I'd never live in the same house as a child anyway. Here we have the bathroom. Pretty much normal. It's actually cleaner than most of the bathrooms that we get on this series. Can I also just say, this is such a creative idea. We'll go upstairs. Here we are. The kids' room completely covered in all of the space gunk and things. Oh, there's even more vines in the parents' bedroom. I wonder why that is. Wow. I love their bed sheets, by the way. If only this camera wasn't like... Bah, 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 bah. That's actually really cute. I, I totally forgot this was in the game. Okay, we're gonna go into this room. Oh! Oh, why is the bathroom clean? Excuse me? Why did they... Oh, no, eh, it's still clean. Toilets flush. That's nice. At least they flush their goddamn toilets. What's in here? This is the kids' room. Have I been in here? Oh my god, I was just in here. Wow, that really was the house. It's a very small house. I think the entire thing is how bad Timmy messed up. Listen, this was short, but this was oh so sweet. Timmy, I hope you suffer for what you've done to your family. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Just a Rock by Esoteric Panda. When a meteorite crashes down from space, officials write it off as just a plain old space rock and fenced it off for public safety measures. The family next door even had to move out. However, some sims say, Wibsni Shaga. Not all is as it seems. On further inspection, maybe it is more than just a rock. No, I don't understand why government involvement in things crashing from space makes it even slightly suspicious. It's just a rock. I mean, if you saw a nice rock, you'd probably want to protect it with guns and military personnel and a big fence. And you wouldn't want anybody to live near it because it's your rock. Listen, if you didn't want me to speak the truth, why'd you let me do it? Here we are at the ordinary rock. I don't even know why I'm reviewing this build. It's just a rock. There's nothing bad about it. And as you can see, the neighbors had to move away. And you know what? I don't think they had to move because of the rock. I think because their house is in such disarray. And you can't be like, oh, their house is in disarray because they moved out. You have no proof. Okay, let's pretend I totally jumped this fence, didn't get caught on the barbed wire, and came in. Look, there's nothing. It's just a rock. There's nothing weird about it. I could even go around the entire side of this rock and 
let me tell you, there won't be anything sus about this place. Look, just a rock. There's some glowing stuff in there, but guess what? That's just because it's a rock. Actually, there's another fence, and I'm gonna jump it. And totally ignore that futuristic mailbox that has nothing to do with anything. And that super secret door with a camera on the back of this just a rock means it's just a rock. Oh, mailbox is there too. What the fuck are you? That looks like that meme. You know, the two astronauts and one's got the gun. Mailbox has the gun for this mailbox. Anyway, all right, let's pretend that there's something behind these doors, wink, wink, and that I have security access because I work for the government and I go inside. Oh, this does not look like just a rock now. I'm starting to have doubts about this entire thing. This might be an alien operation. I'm gonna go in because I have top security clearance. Now, do I want to go through this door? No. Am I going to? Yes. Okay. What's through here? Oh, this is, there's a UFO. Oh my God. This is like a human testing facility about aliens. Oh man. Why is this in just a rock? How did it find itself in a rock is my question and a portal to space. You need one of those always. All right. We're going to go down a floor now. Oh, we have a little listening post. Really nice setup, buddy. The wooden chair looks very comfy. We'll go through here. What's this? Oh, little canteen area, little hangout staff room. I mean, scientists need to do things too, right? Scientists aren't just mindless robots. Although you could replace the job of every scientist with a mindless robot and they'd probably get the job done faster. That's what capitalism taught me. Here we have the bathrooms. Lots of uh, green gunk everywhere. Don't want to know what that's about. We're going to do a bathroom check real quick to make sure everybody flushed because that's a thing I do now. And the bathroom is clean. All right, we'll head down one more floor. Oh, there's many floors actually. Actually. Oh, they're doing tests on people. Yeah, that always happens in government facilities. I'm not even gonna bet at night. Am I gonna rescue this poor tested on man? Absolutely not. This is your fate, buddy. Here we have prison cells where people have died. I don't know if it's people, if it's aliens, if it's cats or dogs. Wow, that's kind of messed up though. And I like that they have, I like how they have this all one-way mirror situation when you can literally look through the bars, but that's fine. Listen, how the government chooses to spend their money is on them and not on me despite the fact that I fund every single operation they do through taxes. Anyway, I'm gonna go down one more floor. Oh, this is the- oh my god, what is down here? So we have more cells. We have people being tested on. That's fine. That's normal. There's a poopy right there. Nothing is so far out of the ordinary, but I'm very concerned with the whole water pool thingy here. You know, I don't even want to know what's down there. That's it. That's just a mystery for the ages because I really am scared and also i realized that this is just straight up a torture chamber but like i said i wouldn't be surprised if my tax money goes to this shit well it turns out this is not just a rock and if you ever find a large suspicious fenced off rock in the future just check the back it will it will answer all of your questions Great job. Next one we're gonna be looking at is the Sleazy Spaceport by PBE Shishi. Welcome to the docks of Vegas 6. It may not be the most scenic of destinations, but if you wanna buy a black market space squid, gamble away the keys to your ship, join a robot fight club, or sample the strongest cocktails in the galaxy, this is the place to be. Eat in our notorious canteen, visit the club, or just spend a night in the convenient capsule hotel while our skilled mechanics fix up your spaceship. Just make sure all debts are paid by the end of your stay. Ah, yes, space rogues. I already wouldn't be able to trust people, but I would be able to trust people even less in space. Why are people in space so unreliable? In the place where you would probably want to be the most reliable thing possible. I hate sci-fi. I do. I hate it so much. New insult. You're a fucking space hole. Here we are at the spaceports of Vegas 6. What a lovely place that doesn't look dingy and really unreliable at all. So we have our little old Oh my god, this is actually the cutest little spaceship hangar ever using the little children's like spaceship playset thing. I love that. Oh my god, this is the first stop I want to make. I want to check up on my ship, make sure these mechanics aren't stealing any parts from me. Oh, this is actually so creative. This is really cute. Okay, okay. So we have a food stand right here so you can get some space food, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, we're gonna go in here first. This looks like a little bar, maybe? Oh yeah. You could tell it's a space bar by the obnoxious lights. Anything 
futuristic, just stick a weird ass light color in there. We're gonna use the bathrooms first, just checking that they do flush in space. This is pretty good. I am way too short for this mirror though, okay? I'm gonna totally ignore the bartender because I am the bartender, which gives me clearance to go back here, which, oh my God, there's a basement. Do I wanna go down there now? Okay, maybe I might do actually. Okay, here I am behind the bar and I'm quickly going to leave behind the bar so I can go down into the basement. I never do the basements first. I'm feeling so brave today. Okay, so lots of knives and tools and space things. That's a probe. That goes somewhere. And oh, it's just like a little gambling area. That's not so bad. Oh, wait. No, it is bad. They're, they're tor- Wait, hold on. You're telling me you're playing space cards while well, you're just gonna torture a guy in the back? Oh, man, I fucking hate space. I fucking hate it. Okay, rule number one of space bullshit. Don't piss off the bartender or forget to pay your tap. Here we have the little space markets, it seems like. Oh, this is actually really cute. Look, there's a, a, a stand you of an astronaut that they said you can't go near it. I'm pretty sure somebody pissed on it at some point. Where do I want to go next? Oh, we have a door over here. Let's see what this one is. I love builds with multiple shops and things in them. I think that's so cool. Also, you had one job. You had to get it in the trash can. Is this a cafe of some sorts? This is cute. Very cramped, but very cute. What's over here? Oh, very good. Very good hygiene standards. Like I said, it's in space. Everyone's an asshole. I would never eat here. Actually, I would because from here, looks clean and they they did a good job of hiding it okay we're gonna go up these stairs now i probably haven't done the entire bottom floor but i'll just go back and forth because i have no coordination whatsoever oh this door looks broken i bet it's nice to go in here what is this oh is this like a fighting pit where like people bet on things oh my goodness there's a lot of blood down there we'll go up here is this just another yeah this is just another way to view it okay sci-fi things really like illegal basement fighting pits i don't understand space sculpture. I'm sorry. I love this whole bridge, like this upper floor bridge situation. This is actually really, really cute. We'll go to those buildings in a sec. I need to check this upstairs thing. This looks like a club of some sorts. Hello, knock, knock. What is this? Okay, reception. Okay, we'll, we'll go in through this door. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is a bubble lounge. Okay. All right, this is kind of cool. A little more drinks, a lot of drinking in space. Again, a place where you probably shouldn't be drinking. And then the toilets are upstairs. Wow, it's like every British fucking pub I've been to. Oh, these aren't toilets. These are rooms. Oh, so it's like an inn of some sorts. And then there are toilets here. Why is nothing clean in space? Okay, this is very confusing. I would not stay here, but uh, I appreciate the offer that I will so kindly reject that. I mean, the reception area is beautiful. And then you check the bathrooms and oh my God. Okay, we are back on the first floor. We have this little shop we haven't been to. Oh, is this a gambling? Oh, this is a gambling. Okay. Wow, lots of gambling here on Vegas 6. Oh, it's called Vegas 6. Everything just, oh my god, everything makes sense now. It's supposed to be Vegas, but in space. Oh my god, why is there so much gambling, you fucking idiot? Oh my gosh, boss guy's office, man. Their offices always look so cramped. They're so dingy and dark. And a torture room, wow. Okay, I know I've never been to Vegas, but I didn't expect it would be this violent. And then we have a bathroom that is surprisingly clean. If you go around this corner, we have have another building we can go to. I think these are the two last buildings plus whatever's in there. So this looks like an apartment complex of some sorts. Here we have like some mailboxes. Oh, these are people's apartments. Oh, these are actually really cute and cozy. Wait, why are space apartments a vibe though? I don't think I it is my aesthetic, but it's so cool. Okay, we have to take these fake elevators upstairs and then go through here. We are at the second floor. Okay. Oh, this guy lives in a very different state. The first guy was very clean. This this guy seems way more like me, and I hate it. Okay, so we have this building next. We have pictures of two very hot alien babes. I wonder what their story is. And this looks like a strip club. This is 100% a woohoo club it is. Wow. Okay, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do in space, am I right? Literally every game in space has alien strippers, and you can't tell me otherwise. And then here we have, like, their little bathroom area and makeup. Wow, it really is pretty cramped in here, but I, oh my god. Really nice selfies. Gorgeous. Absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I love their little makeup station. That's so cute. And a toilet. I love the lights more than anything. And then we have this back thing over here. This is just like a whole storage compartment of sorts. Probably confiscated materials and dead robots. Wow. Very nice. It's basically a robot graveyard right next to the strip club. Oh no. What is that? Hello. This looks like a TARDIS. Why does this look like a TARDIS? Is this a TARDIS? I don't know what this is, but it literally looks exactly like a TARDIS. So it has to be 
be one. That, I, I understand that reference. Good job. Also, I found a dead body on the roof. This has to be one of the most detailed builds I've ever seen. This was amazing. All the storytelling going on, and it's just buildings. Absolutely wonderful job. I will never come back. Last build we're gonna be looking at is Discovered Home by Crayonless. Discovered in a beautiful faraway swamp covered with a forest of giant mushrooms exists the Zangun Marsh Nursery. While there are lodgings for a nanny and a family above ground, happening below the surface is a different but still magical miracle of birth and possibly some human experimentation, we're not sure. Yeah, you know, the pesky human experimentation is not a big deal. May I ask a simple question of why are you guys like this? Here's a beautiful build. Why don't we torture humans in the basement? Here we are at this beautiful nursery home. Oh my god. I know it was supposed to be placed in Strangerville, but it wasn't working for me. So just pretend this is a desert of mystery and death, okay? This is absolutely gorgeous. Hello, the way the rocks and the landscaping and oh my goodness. Like there's already so much detail. I'm immediately ignoring. Okay, so we, we are gonna go in through this lovely little entrance here. Now remember, this is a nursery home for magical space babies. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I still don't want any. There's actually a lot of entrances, so I'm just gonna go through the first one I see, which is this one, and assume it's the front door. Oh my gosh. Why is this absolutely gorgeous though? There's a basement. Okay, I'm going to the basement last. I'm sorry, I can't do this to myself right off the bat. Voodoo dolls and potions. Okay, this seems wholesome for a nursery. Oh my god, look at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. I want a ceiling like this now. I've decided. This is absolutely beautiful. What the fuck? The mix of sci-fi and just coziness and excuse me, the ceiling. I love this ceiling. I'm sorry, but sci-fi core is now my favorite aesthetic and you can't tell me otherwise. If I'm not gonna live in a spaceship, I don't wanna live at all. And these circular windows. Hello, what a vibe. Okay, we have this door to go through here. Ah, oh, this is a kitchen. I can tell. I've seen a fridge before. I know what that looks like. This is super cute. Very cute colorful, very happy, not so much dingy vibes. Oh my god, this bathroom! I am really bad at decorating bathrooms, but this is like a really nice bathroom. Like a really, really nice bathroom. We've got another floor up here. Oh my god! This is so beautiful! It's really groovy. I'm getting groovy vibes. What's over here? And then a gaming room. Okay, this is nice. This is really, really nice. I wouldn't like an open bathroom though, because if you poo, it's gonna hit both downstairs and upstairs. And I'm talking about the smell, not the actual poo. You should be pooping in a toilet. There's really no other place for you to be doing such things. Okay, well, there are no other rooms, so it's time for us to hit the basement. Oh, God. Down the suspicious ladder and oh. Oh! Ah, oh, security gates. Oh, well, I wonder what's through here. Nothing bad, I hope. Okay. Some testing things. It's always underground. They never put this in plain sight, do they? Oh! A magical fairy garden with a listening post. Interesting. So, this this is where the magic space fairies are. Okay. I understand. I think with Easter eggs, this all makes complete sense to me. And here we have the nursery. Wait, wait, what is this though? We have a little desk. You could play Minecraft right here while you're looking over the fucking debug cat, baby. Get the fuck out of here. How fucking dare you put debug cat in my video? I hate debug cat. Stop it. What's in this one? That's the alien baby. That's fine. That's actually cute. Way better than fucking dumb as debug cat. My god, what's in this one? Nothing. Okay, so these babies, oh, there's a piranha baby. So they make alien babies or take care of alien babies down here? I don't know. There's a door through here that leads to here, which is between the fairies that leads to a door here. Oh my god. What the fuck? What is that? What is this? Why is there a hamster? There's a fucking hamster suit in this game. This is nightmare fuel. What the fucking dead robots? Okay, not only are you putting debug cat, you're torturing robots. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All that I learned from this is I really like this titty roof and I hate the fucking hamster suit. Great job though. Unfortunately, those are all the builds that I could look at today, but please check Check out this hashtag. There are some amazing builds of the gallery ever loads. If you want to know what this week's building competition is, please check out my Discord server link below for all the information or watch the video that I posted yesterday for information on the building competition, which is why I'm talking about it. But other than that, stay hydrated and uh, bye bye.